In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to query a Postgres database table using Python. You can see here that I have my demo database, and in this database, my public schema, I have a table called, called Contacts with some random contact information in. This is a table I'll be querying in Python. So the first thing you need to do is go to your Python interpreter, and you need to import the module PsychoPG. This is the most common module used for querying Postgres. I'll put a link to its documentation in the description. Once you have this imported, you need to create a connection. And in the connection string, you put your database name. In my case, it's demo. The user you will be connecting as, I have the default user Postgres. And if you have a remote database connection, you need to specify either the name of the connection or the IP address here. Mine is localhost. You can insert these in any order you want. And your connection is created. You then need to create a cursor. It's not a database cursor, it's a Python cursor. And this will hold your SQL statements that you execute against the database. You then specify the statement that you wish to execute against the database. And in this case, it is select all from the contacts table that you saw. This hasn't actually executed the statement, but it will hold it within your cursor. To see this information, to retrieve it, you create a variable, or you initialize and create a variable to hold the information, and then you issue the fetch all method and they, now you have a variable which holds all the information within this table uh, to see it in a more formatted way for r in rows yeah. um, you can see that this is actually a list type and then you know it's actually four rows long Query the last row, you would do this, and again to query the first item or second item within that list. Now, this returns a list item. So, to actually refer to the data by their column names, you need to create a dictionary type cursor. And to do this, you first need to import a extras module from PsychoPG. And then you need to create a dictionary type cursor. And then you can actually refer to data by column name. Another common thing to do in databases on data is to extract everything into a file. So this can be done quite easily in Python. So the first thing you need to do is create a file. And then you then create a cursor to copy this data to. You reinitialize your cursor. And then you issue the copy to That is wrong. It is the table name that goes in single quotes. So if you exit out of your Python interpreter and you then look for this file, you can see there it exists. And if you look at its contents, there you can see a copy of the data. Another really common thing to do using Python and data imports and exports is to actually import data into Postgres databases. And this is done in virtually exactly the same way, just using copy from rather than copy to. So if you go to our database and I truncate this table, and then execute this query, uh, you can see this table is now empty. 
can I go back to my Python ten interpreter? I I need to open the file that I wish to extract the data from and as you can see previously my file is called data export and I need to open that in read mode and then I issue the copy from command so that is reference to the file the table name I want to import into is contacts and the separator it has to be known in advance and I am using pipe separated I then issue this command uh, because it is an insert I need to commit so it's not person it's connection dot commit I need to commit the command and once that is done the data will be imported into Postgres and I can go back to my database issue this query and I can see the information is available and that is a few good ways to query data to and from a Postgres database.